James Kaufman, World News Report today, October 1st, 2024. What a day. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had an X7 plus solar flare directly earth facing. That's right, directly earth facing. The flare is still in X territory. It looks like it was in X territory for just under one hour. And we're going to take a look at that flare and see where it originated. Unbelievable. Found the very strong M flare at the beginning of the day. October 1st, a day to always remember. All right, ladies and gentlemen, an X7.15 solar flare. X class 7.15, directly earth facing, generated by sunspot AR3842. That is the same sunspot that was earth facing and generated the M7.6 solar flare late yesterday, i.e., early this morning, UTC time. In reality, the M7.6 solar flare that was also earth directed peaked at right at 7 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. And we've just had this flare. It peaked right around 5.45 Central Time here in the U.S. They haven't assigned it a sunspot yet, but it's easy to determine where it came from. We'll take a look at the explosion. Today we had a 15% chance of X-class solar flare. Wow, what happened there? We're still in x class solar flare territory x 1.27 as i prepare this video for your viewing we had a 60 percent chance of an m class solar flare and we've been running a c baseline for months now so that should be at 100 percent but what do i know right our sun is looking awful nasty earth facing especially we have several sunspots coming around the limb here that have not even been named yet. We just had 3847 named and 3842 is our culprit for this very large X7 plus flare. Now, altogether, it looks like we have about 11 sunspots that are earth facing, although I guess that number should be a little bit higher. All right, over to go solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstrom it's going to be easy to see where this comes from and of course there it is 3842 right here central disc almost directly earth facing here what a bad situation a flare of that magnitude had to have created a chrome mass ejection that is inbound and because the flare was so strong it's going to be traveling very fast over to our D region absorption prediction center. I would expect more radio alternation than we're seeing here. The flare occurred over the Pacific Ocean, right over Hawaii, as usual, right? And they're saying that it peaked at around 2220 UTC time or 520 Central Time here in the U.S. Now, with a flare this size, I would expect to see a proton storm almost immediately. I do not see anything yet. I did check for a proton storm. I did check LASCO. Of course, it's not covering this time period yet. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, that was an awful, strong X-class solar flare directly Earth-facing. Please make sure to share our videos. Please subscribe. We will be live with the Vice President debate tonight. And I think we're going to be live with Trump commentating the event. Uh, we're going to use his Truth Social channel where he will be commentating throughout the event. I hope to see you guys there. Please remember that anything's possible in a bizarre world. And be safe out there. It's a dangerous world these days. God bless.